Hi, my name is Matthew Phillips. I'm a two-time power climbing world champion and welcome to my Epic TV series where we explore the south coast and get a little bit more behind the scenes of my life. In this series, we're going to see a little bit of sport climbing, we're going to see a little bit of route setting, some home woody stuff and a lot of bouldering as well. In this episode, we head down to Winspit to try out my uh, sport climbing project, Gorilla Tactics. Uh, lockdown restrictions have just eased, so it's really exciting to be able to get out and get back on some ropes outdoors. I think the main thing for me that I love, like the reason I love outdoors so much is obviously because you get to come to some beautiful places. I mean, we've got the coast right over there, drops into the sea. It's stunning, the sun's out. It's, it's just a beautiful place to be at this time of year, really. And then obviously a reason to come out with friends as well and have a good time just outside. I mean, I live sort of in towards cities and in towns, so just an excuse to come out to the, the countryside is great. Right, so we're down here at Winspit, which is on the Dorset coast in England. Uh, it's a lovely long line of limestone cliffs. Uh, I've never been to this particular quarry before, but I'm really excited because the rock looks sick. It's got some cool caves, some good climbing. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit windy, a little bit hot, so hopefully the conditions should match out perfectly and we'll be able to do some good stuff. Oh, they're long. Yeah, those are the long ones. I've oh, got if you've got a short one. Long. We've got Stone... I like Stone... That's a good name. Stone Mason. I see. Okay, that looks good. That looks like a good place to start. It's up along this bolt line, back over there, and up to just over on that ledge there. I do believe. Okay. Lovely. I think we'll go there. So I'm hoping to do some new routes. Obviously, I've never been here before, so I've had a look in the guidebook. There's some really cool routes I want to do. Uh, lots of like sort of middle of the range, the middle of the grade stuff, as well as a few sort of harder ones. I fancy trying to push myself on but it's been a while I've been in lockdown obviously so my endurance might not be where it is so uh, just getting back moving on rock would be good I think. Showered since? No I have I've showered but again. I've come back from death the other day. <laughs> <laughs> I have showered though but I clearly didn't get in between my toes. Actually I probably wore these socks in Devon they're sort of full of sand. Oh it's my you shoes. You have the socks? It's my shoes then. In there you go. Of you, Matt. Yeah well I'm a dirtbag climber it's fine. Disgusting. Oh, why? why? Just in general. Yeah, Alright. Jeez Louise, I don't know if it's an improvement to get friends or get, not have friends or have self-deprecate, I can't even see. Congratulations. <laughs> I can't see. Yeah, it was. Do, 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 do. Ah. Getting a little lesson in the bowling knot. One, two, three, six, plus emergency. Very good. Are you, I need to open my chalk bag. Are you safe? I'm good. This is pleasing to know. I really hope this rope isn't tangled. Yes. I'm look like such a punter if I don't know. Alright, let me That's just have really a little... everyone's going to blame the nameless b layer. Oh, of course. So the first thing that goes through my mind when I'm looking at a new problem I've never seen before, uh, sometimes the problems are impossible. You know, there's like they're all pocket routes or something like that. So the first thing I do is look for any anything like that, any like pocket sections, like thin cracks I can't do. Mm, Just yeah. sort of iron up all of those things, and I can sort of put those problems to the side for the moment. You know, maybe come back later. It could be possible, but go and look for something that suits me a little bit more. So slopers good positive crimps, obviously jugs. I like good steep stuff, I'm not really a good slab yeah, climber. Yeah. So I look for the nice steep routes, that sort of thing. Uh, and then obviously eyeing up the bolts once I've had a look at the route, figuring out where they are, how many quick draws I'm gonna need, and all that sort of stuff. Watch me. I'm not going to take a fall in a minute, I'm back in. Yeah, I am. I'm going to fall, so take me. Ready? Oh, bastard. Yes, I will count this as a training excursion. It will go in the, di it will go in the training diary because I don't get out on rock that much, in the, especially on sport outdoors, so uh, it's all going to be good training for putting hard again. Oh, my I could take again. <laughs> Yeah. Huh. 
I'm not going to get this. This is just slimy. It's up to you to direct you. Stop, 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 stop. Bring you down. Yeah. There we go. That was fun. This is why I don't sport climb outdoors that much. <laughs> this, the tone has really changed from the interview, hasn't it? <laughs> The story of today is we started over on the Quarryman Wall, which is like the main wall at Windspit. Uh, it was quite hot when we started off, there wasn't much of a breeze going through, so I did struggle quite a bit on some, uh, some easier grades over there, uh, but we won't talk about them. Uh, and then we moved over to here, which uh, is where Gorilla Tactics is, which is the main route I wanted to try today. Uh, it goes up the really steep overhang of the cave behind me, and yeah, it was really cool. I gave it a little, little flash go, got quite high, got into the crux bit, got all the jaws in, felt out the moves. The bottom section of the climb is a little bit scary at first, because their first clip is really, really high. Uh, for, for a sport climb anyway, uh, so that's a little bit sketchy. Then it sort of goes off left, you sort of lose, uh, lose sense of where the second clip is, and then suddenly you come back and it's in your face. You manage to clip it and then uh, it's onto some good jogs, which are really nice for having a nice shake out and stuff. And you look, you look down the right way, it looks a little bit like the flat irons. The flat anchor, not the flat irons. It looks a little bit like Fatanga if you look down the right way, which I thought was uh, pretty cool. And then you power on through into the crux. Did it? Push out. That scares me. Yeah, a little bit. But I would quite like it to fall out because that looks like a better hold. <laughs> <laughs> He's on it. Yeah, nice. Come on, Matt. Got the jug. If you can get, if you can get it. Go on. To the lip. Go yes, on. Matt. Yeah, hero. Good effort. Woo! <laughs> Good effort. Yes, Matt. Yes, Matt. Take that. Good job. That was sick. That felt sick. That looked well good, mate. That was like right arm, like proper good job. Yeah, good, right? Yeah. Ooh, there we go. Hello. That was good. Now I just need to rest and get more endurance. <laughs> and there it'll go. I think, I think it'll go. Yeah, I need food and rest, and then a proper go. Getting into that jug's quite cool. Swinging out, and then it's just like campus moves to the top, basically. That's it. Yeah, sick. If I just blast through this lower bitch now that I know like how to clip and that it feels pretty secure, I'll be good. Drawn blood, tiny amounts of blood on both routes today. Good job. <laughs> it's, not a good day it's not a good day on the Dorset coast if you don't draw the blood. I'm trying to hold it in for the camera. It's <laughs> like, I'm not going to choke. Give it a good go. Come on. <laughs> Maximum beanage now, boy. Hopefully.
Mm. No, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I think it's something to say. The movie star esque. Yeah. It was good. Do I need to talk to you? Do you want me to talk to you? It was quite good. It was enjoyable. It was quite pumpy though. I'm not actually as pumped as I thought it was going to be. I was quite tired in that top section though. The rest didn't really help because I've clearly forgotten how to rest properly. Because I wasn't getting much back from them. But yeah. It was good. I enjoyed. It was a good route, Dave. Well done. <laughs> I'm a B Tech Ondra. A B Tech Ondra. Yeah. I felt pretty good when I got it. Uh, when I got it second go, uh, I felt like it was pretty good, but I wasn't sure if I had the endurance to to do it this time. But luckily, I managed to have a nice long rest, recovered, and then powered through with uh, only a few grunts and cones on the way. So I had a really good day, really happy with how I climbed today. Uh, I'll definitely be back to wind spit when I can be to try some of the harder stuff. Uh, but for now, I'm going to sign out and head down to the pub. <laughs> that's it, that's the one. Right, in the next episode, we'll be heading to my local wall. It's the wall I've been going to since I started climbing and we've got a boulder reset to do. So this will be a little bit of behind the scenes stuff of how I set in the mindset of a root setter.